All right, we're gonna do some soldering on LED light. So the stuff we're working with is this LED reels that come on a spool like this. And it has the power, the 12 volt power, green, red, and blue wiring for the LEDs. And these right here are the little LEDs. Each one of these spools comes with lighting that you can cut at these points here. There's um, little scissor marks if you just cut in between these uh, copper connectors here, you can cut and reconnect them. So I want to show you how. So these are the connectors you can use to connect your light strips once you cut pieces. And since we're doing this for a costume, we need these connections to stay put. So these are the connectors. You can see there's the black wire, green, red, blue, and they match up with the connections here. So let's go over this. So you have a, uh, this side's connected to these wires and right here, there's a little loop. Just pop it off and that is your connection. Now to get that onto here, you have to peel carefully this silicone rubber protector off of the connectors. So we just peel it off like that and then right about where the RGB letters are we just snip it off. So that just snips off. Okay then on the back of this stuff anyways there is a double sided tape with a foam backing, we're going to scrape all of that off, all the foam backing and everything. So you can see there's, I mean, there's a little bit of foam left on it, but we want that as thin as possible to fit into that connector. Let me just trim that off. So now our end looks like this. So what you could do now is match up the wires and you'll notice that this is says the 12 volt right there and then it says G, R, and B and this black wire is your power or the 12 volts and so this slips in here it's a little channel for it to slip in and you just push it in like this. Now we're having problems with these little connectors here staying connected to the little uh, copper plates. So how we've remedied that is by adding a little bead of solder to each one of the little um, copper areas. Uh, and then at putting it in the connector and that kind of makes it click together. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some of this flux and we just put a little tiny bit on each. Not a lot, does not need a lot at all. You barely even see it so it's on there now and then we are 
This is my solder. It's just cord solder wire. And on my soldering iron, I have this tip. It's a very, very fine, thin tip. Really helps get a good, fine solder. Just get a little bit of solder on your tip. Let's see, maybe a little bit. All right, and you just dot it on. A little more solder. See how I got little four little beads of solder. Like that. Okay, now we can put our connections together. And once again, this just slips in those channels right there. And you just push it in. And then it slips in like that. And now that's a good tight connection. It's not going to slip out of there. Doesn't fall out. And then you can just close it up. To troubleshoot this, you really want to make sure so you open up the side that the light is connected to, not the wire side. And you just want to make sure that all of these little connectors here are touching those little solder points that you just put on. Also, make sure not to touch the solder to your copper wiring on here for very long. You don't want to heat up this the um, wires that run through this too hot. Uh, it could you know cause it more damage. 